everyone today we are going to go ahead and discuss the important books for ma economics entrance exam so first of all to begin with we'll start by understanding which are the important books in microeconomics and how to go about the curriculum there see i like to divide the entire microeconomics in three important parts one is known as the basic or introductory microeconomics as all of you would know we take our first few lectures on the introductory microeconomics the second part is known as intermediate microeconomics and the third part is known as the advanced microeconomics as far as the introductory microeconomics is concerned the book that you should refer is mancu you have to do relevant chapters from this you have to do all back questions from this book for intermediate microeconomics you have to refer to hall varian again all relevant chapters have to be done from this plus you also have to go ahead and do the entire workbook of hall varian every chapter that you cover has to be followed by the workbook then you have to go to the advanced lectures this is what we do right so in the advanced lectures you have to follow snyder and nicholson some part of green also i follow but you don't have to do that this is what i will cover in my lectures don't no need to open up this book okay okay so here in snyder and nicholson you have to do again all relevant chapters as we do in our live lectures plus you have to do all back questions the back questions are much more than what the book is all about remember for example when we did chapter 4 5 recently i told you that you have to go ahead and do the back question related to altruism this is not there in the book in detail there is just a paragraph on it but there is a very very good question on this a beautiful utility function is given there so back questions are very 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 important plus all the assignments weekly assignments plus the tests that you will be given on bi weekly basis this is what you have to do from microeconomics plus of course all the past year questions of relevant exams so plus past years past year questions this is for microeconomics similarly let's go to macroeconomics again when you will see the course you would have seen that i have divided the entire course in three parts so you have to do the entire course in three parts introductory intermediate and advanced acha one thing here right so if you will see the microeconomics part i have given a note there that note is what you have to read through you have to read what the note is saying you have to understand what has to be done when so for example i have given you steps that covered this and this from the introductory lectures 
then follow it by this and this of the intermediate lectures then do this of my advanced lecture then again pick up from introductory the next portion then intermediate and so on read that note and only follow this pattern don't go through all the introductory at once and all the intermediate at once no you have to only follow things in that pattern okay so here also you have introductory intermediate and advanced now when it comes to introductory you have to go ahead and you have to do from your uh, principles of uh, macroeconomics okay again man q then you have to follow don bush acha here there is a thing okay now uh, when it comes to intermediate macroeconomics don bush would not be enough so what i have done is i have gone ahead and taken relevant chapters from don bush i have also gone ahead and taken relevant chapters from salvator relevant chapters from your other books right so what i mean to say is that here for macroeconomics one book may not be sufficient you for intermediate level you have to go ahead and you have to do more than just going for uh, your don bosch or salvator etc like for example like here you have man q right this man q some part is going to go ahead and come in the intermediate part also it's a, it's a very good book well written book you have to go ahead and follow that book well right uh, similarly you have a book called blanchard now that's a very good book right so you have to go ahead and read relevant portions from this like for example i don't like to do unemployment chapter from don bosch it's not that well written i like to do labor market and unemployment from other books also right so that that mix has to be maintained so these are the these are some of the books but of course you you know if you want to go ahead and follow one book i would suggest it to be don bush and then advanced lecture only and only lectures no book for it because here i'm going to add mathematical portions to my mathematical portions to my economics so you know doing those implicit functions and derivations etc can only be done through the lectures so no book again here you have to follow the note just above this you have to do weekly assignments here you have to give bi weekly tests you have to do all the mock tests there is a note that you have to follow right that do these 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 chapters from introductory then these 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 chapters from intermediate and so on then you have to understand about mathematics very very important i like to divide it again in three parts introductory intermediate and advanced in introductory there is no book that you have to follow you have to go through the lecture videos these are very introductory lecture videos after every video you will find a quiz after every video you have to solve this quiz which is going to check your uh, knowledge these introductory videos will have set theory the, it will have relation and function it will have trigonometry it will have limits continuity sequences series it will have differentiation different type of integration plus all relevant workbooks here have to be followed all workbooks so i will you know you have these complete set of workbooks here and you have to go ahead and follow these workbooks also okay now let's go to the next part so the next part is your intermediate now when it comes to intermediate you have to go ahead and you can follow either of the two book 
either you can go for your Hammond, Sid Satan and Hammond, or you can go for AC Chiang. You know, because most of the colleges follow Hammond, this is a book which is a good enough book for you to follow. So all chapters from this have to be followed. Do differential also, do difference equation also, etc. However, I like this book more. I like AC Chiang more. This has more relevant examples to it. So again, this is a trade-off. You want to go ahead and follow any of the two books, it is fine. Advanced, only lecture videos are enough. Okay. That's one thing here. Introductory and intermediate has to be done as soon as possible. Because I will be using this differentiation, integration, etc. Thoroughly in my microeconomics right from the beginning. From my first or second lecture of advanced videos, I will be going ahead and I will be using differentiation, integration, uh, continuity, etc. Concavity, convexity, quasi-concavity, convex set. So as soon as possible, you should quickly go through these videos of recorded uh, introductory and intermediate section. Now fourth, statistics. For statistics, again, I like to divide the entire course in introductory, intermediate, and advanced. Introductory is where you have to do those lecture videos. Plus, for each video, you have to go through the quiz. Intermediate is where you have to go ahead through a book called Devore. All the lecture notes, all the videos that are prepared for this intermediate course are actually through Devore. So you have to go through Devore. And for advanced, again, my live lectures or lecture videos are enough. Here you can follow SC Chand also, an equally good book. But you have to do all back questions. Here you have to do all assignments, all weekly assignments, all bi weekly tests. Here you have to follow and do all the quizzes. After every small video that you look, you have to do the quizzes. And then additionally, you have your game theory in which you can follow Osborne. You have your econometrics, which is very, very important for which you have to go through all chapters. That means chapter one to 13 of Gujarati plus all back questions. Okay, uh, this, is, this is not required for IIT jam in much detail. Only the first four or five chapters are enough for IIT jam exam. Otherwise, you have to do all the chapters. He, this is also not required for IIT jam in detail. And then you have to read through definitely some part of DevEco, International Eco. Only lecture videos are enough. And your Indian Eco. For these parts, only lecture videos are enough. 